let us continue from the previous session with an example in vector uh, with a combined function so here i have a word document let's try to create a vector for this let's say on each of the weekdays you have saved these many coins 10 coins on monday 20 on tuesday and so on similarly you have collected 25 stamps on monday 12 on tuesday and so on till Friday when you have collected 20 stamps. How do you represent this in R Studio? Well, definitely it's a, it's a vector with a combined function that you would have to write for two separate vectors. One is for the coins and one is for the stamps. So for the coins, you would be using coins underscore vector as an example and assign this variable to a combined function with the numerics of 20, 10, 20, 30, 80 and 100 on all the five days of the week and you will also have stamps underscore vector as a variable example and uh, assign it to a combined function or a vector with numerics of 25 12 18 16 and 20 well you got the combined functions right now how do you represent and inform R studio that 10 is for Monday 20 is for Tuesday 30 is for Wednesday and so on which is in a pictorial form, if I draw it in this format, how would you represent or inform R Studio that this variable with vectors combined having numerics uh, in its combined function are each related to one day of the week beginning from Monday to Friday? For this, you would have to inform the R Studio with a unique keyword called names. If you write names and then in brackets write the vector name with a combined function again from Monday to Friday as characters in double quotes then you would be achieving this particular scenario and R Studio would also be understanding in the same format. Now let us try to represent this in actual R Studio. Okay, so now we type in coins underscore vector and this is assigned to the combined function of 10, 20, 30, 80 and 100 for the coins. Well, you can see it in the global environment there that is this object is created. Next, you have your stamps vector. You assign it to a combined function with values of 25, 12, 18, 16 and I think it's 20 at the last. Now you have your stamps underscore vector also to inform our studio about the weekdays you would have to represent them as names it would detect automatically as you can see coins underscore vector you represent this with a combined function of Monday Tuesday till Friday. I have to write the same thing for stamps underscore vector. I just copied the same thing there, and now you have this particular information. Well, this is a cumbersome way of typing the days of the week again and again isn't it but what you can do is you can actually create another variable and assign the days of the week to this particular um, vector so let's assign the days of the week vector to another variable let's say days underscore vector and you want to assign this for this combined function well it has taken the information now simply what you can do is you can say coins underscore vector or names of coins underscore vector assign this to days underscore vector that's it you can do the same for stamps underscore vector also let's say you want to now calculate the overall collection per day okay so now you want to do overall 
collection and savings per day which is the sum total of stamps and coins that you have on each day of the week in our studio when you whenever you combine or, or sum two vectors it takes the element wise sum so let's do a small example here let's say you have got um, a vector called x underscore vector and you have assigned it to a combined function of 3, 4 and 6. You have y underscore vector with a combined function of 6, 7 and 9. You can do a total of these two vectors. Let's say t underscore vector is equal to x underscore this one plus y underscore vector okay and you want to print out t underscore vector see the summation here it's 3 plus 6 that's 9 4 plus 7 11 11 and 6 plus 9 that's 15 here so it's always an element wise summation when you're summing up two different vectors now let's try to do this for our coins and stamps example so you have here let's say total underscore vector is the sum of coins plus stamps underscore vector. You want to print out this one and you would see the total collection of coins and stamps on a single weekday or on every weekday. So it's on Monday you have got 35 that's 20, 10 plus 25. Tuesday you have about 32. Wednesday 48, Thursday and Friday. This is how it would be represented. Cool, isn't it? Okay, so now let's say you want to sum up the elements, all the elements in uh, the coins vector. So, which means you want to know the total number of coins that you collected uh, in the whole week. So, for that, you would say take any other uh, variable, for example, total coins, and you assign it and write it up as the sum of coins underscore vector this would actually give you the information which is 240 which is 10 plus 20 30 80 and 100 there similarly you can do the same thing for stamps also so let's say you have stamps and you assign it to the sum of stamps underscore vector you write it there or print out the information which will be 91 stamps collected over the entire week what is the total collection 240 plus 91 in that case you would say total let's say week you assign it to the sum of coins plus you would have the stamps underscore vector okay so this will be your total week you can print it out and see the result for yourself as an exercise Okay, if you want to check whether the total coins collected is greater than the total stamps or less than, obviously you can see the answers above, but you can also check in this fashion. So write the answer as some variable and say total underscore coins is greater than total underscore stamps. Okay. If you print out the answer, you would get a logical answer here, whether it's a true or a false. If it's true, it would print out as true okay so you can assign a particular element or a series of elements to a vector also for example you can say coins underscore Wednesday a new vector and you have want to assign it to the Wednesday part of the coins collection so I would say coins underscore vector in square brackets you would say 3 if you look at the coins and underscore Wednesday and print it out, it will show you 30 because you are asking it to print out the third element, which is 30 from the coins underscore vector. So how many coins have you collected on Wednesday? That's about 30 there. Okay. Also, you can select a few elements of uh, a particular vector. Let's say you want to select uh, the elements of 30, 80 and 100 which seem to show that you have collected a good amount of coins at the later part of the week. 
uh, then how would you write that? So you would say coins underscore, uh, let's say late week because I can't really write weekend because it's Saturday and Sunday. So I just write late week and uh, I would assign it to coins underscore vector in square br uh, brackets and within the square brackets I would say so within the square brackets I would say a combined function which consists of Wednesday Thursday and Friday okay so you can also write it this way so if you print out late week it will show you 30 80 and 100 which are respectively Wednesday Thursday and uh, Friday so we would have to write a combined function within the square brackets. Another way of writing it is also this format. Let's say you want to print out the stamps that you have collected from Wednesday to Friday. Okay, from 3, 4 and 5. You can also write in this format stamps underscore uh, selection. Let's say underscore a vector. This is another vector that I just created. You can say stamps underscore vector in just square brackets 3 colon 5 so from 3 uh, to 5 including those two numbers those will be printed out to you if I write it as stamps underscore selection you would see 18 16 and 20 which are the number of stamps collected on those specific days okay so I just clear up the space here, here. Right, but all the elements remain as it is. Now let's say you want to do the average of all the coins that have been uh, collected in the whole week, right? So you can say in this format, average of let's say weekly coins. I just uh, created a variable just now. You can do something called a mean. You can use mean for the average, which almost means the same. With your brackets there and saying coins underscore vector in square brackets you can say one from five this is what you want okay so now if you print it out average weekly coins you would get the result as 48 which is of course the the average that you have uh, let me just show you the, the word document here so you have 10 20 and 30 it's about you know, um, and plus 80 plus 100 60 140 240 by 5 you would get 48 okay okay so you can also use something called comparison operators and let me just type it here so that it's visible on the document comparison vectors What are these comparison vectors or at least for easier purposes operators okay in our studio you have less than you have greater than you have less than or um, equal to you have greater than equal to you have equal to actually and then not equal to okay so these are the comparison operators that you can use you have seen earlier that when you typed in know a six or a, or a seven greater than a five it has given you the logical answer as three the good thing about R is that you can use this comparison operators also on vectors for example you can also say C five seven and eight greater than uh, seven okay so in this case it will give you the answer as false false and true which basically means that it is comparing this particular number with each of the elements inside uh, the vector okay so you can actually write it for every other element in the vector if the condition stated by the comparison operator is uh, true or uh, false so let's see whether these numbers here that we have for 10 20 30 800 and so on are greater than 0 or greater than 10 and so on let's create and see what happens let's do something called um, selection underscore vector I want to see whether the coins vector okay so this coins underscore vector is actually greater than 20 
So if you type in selection underscore uh, vector, it will give you these answers. So if you compare it on the side, which each of these numbers, you will see 10 is not greater than 20, right? So it's false. 20 is of course not greater than 20, so it is false. And the other three numbers or numerics are greater than 20. So you have true, true and true in all the other three days, the last three days of the week. So you can actually run these kind of comparison operators on the elements of a vector also. Okay, so now let's say you want to print out the, the numbers which are greater than 20 during that week including the day of the week. So you want to print out Wednesday, Thursday and Friday and below that 30, 80 and 100. Okay, so the question is. Uh, on what days of the week have you saved more than 20 coins and what are those days? So how do you do that? You can do it by actually printing out the values for only the true um, results from the above uh, scenario. So let me come up with another one called uh, coins underscore greater than 20. Okay, so in this case, you would say coins underscore vector. In square brackets, you would say selection underscore vector. Underscore vector. And close it with a square bracket. Now here, it would give you the printout of those particular elements there. Okay, so you have Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, the 30, 80 and 100. So you, you have solved the question. Now, Let's conclude the session here and uh, continue in the next session onwards with more advanced examples. Thanks for listening and if you have any comments, uh, please write it below and please do like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.